buying cheap yarn is a really bad idea, except for the times when it's a really good idea. And fortunately, there's a fairly clear distinction between those two types of times. And today I'm just gonna quickly chat to you about when cheap yarn is a bad thing and when it is a really good thing. You almost certainly know that yarn comes in a lot of different fibres and that that means that it's made from different materials and that some of those materials are more expensive to produce or manufacture than other ones. And that has a direct impact on how much we pay for yarn at the shops or when we buy it online. So there is yarn that is fundamentally cheap yarn because it's made from more easily manufactured products. Things like acrylic yarns tend to be considerably cheaper than things like specific types of wool like alpaca wool or merino wool. So we can really divide this into two categories. There is yarn that is always cheap and yarn that is often expensive. And if we start with the expensive category and you see some super pricey yarn that is really beautiful and feels soft and lovely and it's on sale for a really good bargain price so it's expensive yarn that's become cheap yarn you would think automatically that that's like a good thing but it's only a good thing if you actually have a use for it or if you actually really did want it and let me explain. So a couple of times I have seen super fancy, gorgeous, lovely yarn on sale and have bought it and then it sat on my shelf indefinitely. So I didn't really save myself money there, did I? Because even though I paid a lot less than I would have paid when it was expensive, the reality is that I wasn't ever going to actually use that yarn for any projects. And this might sound like, you know, basic stuff, but I think it's really important to bear in mind. A bargain is only a bargain if you actually wanted or had a use for that thing in the first place. So cheap yarn, hooray, if it was normally expensive yarn, it's just reduced price because the shop's overstocked or it's the end of the line, but that's only actually a good thing to you if you really wanted to use it. And you have to factor in quantities as well. When you see that super gorgeous merino wool at I'm totally biased to merino wool it's like my favorite thing but you see it on sale right and you're like hooray and it's down really cheap price because there's only one skein left and you grab it but it's on sale because the brand's gone bust or they're not making that particular line of wool anymore so you're never going to find another one to match it, right? Even if you go mad on eBay. And I have won in that situation before and I have managed to colour match something that was, I was going to say extinct, but redundant, out of line? Not made anymore. And I found it on eBay. But that's just blind luck whether or not someone's actually put it on eBay, isn't it? So it's a great thing not only if you actually would use that particular yarn, but also if that shop that's got at a discount has enough of it that you can make the project that you wanted to make. So that's my little rant about expensive yarn when it's made cheap. It is only a good thing if you were actually going to use it, if they had enough of it. Oh, and remember batch numbers. So it's not just enough for them to have enough of it in terms of balls of wool. It has to be actually the batch that they all have to be the same batch number, die lot, because otherwise there's variations in the tone and, and and depending on, again, how lucky you are, that can look pretty shit. So, then there is wool that is always cheap. And, oh my God, there is such a huge range of quality here. So, we go back to the whole discussion of cost versus quality when we get to that point. So there are some really cheap brands of yarn that are horrible. They break all the time, they scratch your fingers up, they evaporate when you wash them. Um, and some of them just kind of don't look nice. They look 
plasticky and I know acrylic is a plastic right but your yarn shouldn't look plasticky unless that's the look you're going for but there are some cheap yarn brands that are actually quite good uh, there are like runs that go through uh, like the big hobby stores like for us in the UK Hobbycraft has a couple of lines of yarn that are lovely one of them is uh, Women's Institute that's not insanely cheap but it's relatively cheap acrylic yarn another one that you see quite a lot around here is this Bonus DK it is a generic machine washable tumble dryable acrylic yarn um hayfields it's cheap i don't tend to have problems with this snapping it's slightly perhaps more garish colors it's not got this sort of the tones down in quite the way i like them but it's useful stuff it's cheap and that doesn't make it bad where you get caught out is in terms of quality and in terms of buying stuff that um that is not in a colour palette that you're actually going to use just because it's low cost. So what I would say is that if you found a cheap brand of yarn that you've not used before, go through all the things that you would when you pick it up in the store to see if you like it in terms of giving it a bit of rub on your face, giving it a little pull to see what it feels like rubbing it through your fingers. Make sure that you're happy with the texture and then make up a sample make up a little swatch and I am so bad at doing this but it is such a good thing to do it's worth a try especially if it's really cheap because you're gold you're in if you like this it's a great way to save money but some cheap yarns are bad and in my experience cheap plush yarns cheap chenille yarns are very unreliable for quality if you want a nice plush yarn, you generally have to spend a little bit more money on it. Some of the really cheap plush yarns are just a complete nightmare. They snap constantly. It's impossible to find your stitches. They feel plasticky despite feeling soft. Um, and don't even get me started on magic circles and snapping because that's an entire video's rant. So it's a, it's a bit of an unusual one today but i just wanted to to share with you guys my experience and my experience is that cheap yarn is an awesome thing as long as you have a plan for the yarn the right quantity of the yarn and you're not just diving into something because it's cheap when it's normally expensive or buying a whole bunch of cheap yarn that's actually so poor that you end up using it for nothing more than toy stuffing because the quality is is literally unusable and and i've been there and i bet you've been there uh, let's avoid that let's not do that again look for bargains but be careful what you go for when you actually hit the tills because you can end up wasting your money even if something on paper is really good value i hope that's helpful let me know have you been super lucky and had amazing yarn deals do you agree with me? Do you think that cheap yarn is always a good thing or always a terrible thing? Let me know. Can't wait to hear from you. And happy crocheting.